Another day, another breakdown, this time an electrical problem. We were just beginning to see the first signs of a lack of confidence and frustration in the vehicles. And at the same time, everyone was confident in the mechanics keeping us moving. Once again, the mechanics had us going in no time, and so the mood lifted. We were all excited to be heading to Bastogne World War II Museum, focusing on the Battle of the Bulge. We were all great fans of the miniseries Band of Brothers. And the exploits of Easy Company. On the 16th of December 1944, the quiet Ardennes region of Belgium erupted to the sound of battle. Over the front line poured a quarter of a million German troops, backed up by hundreds of tanks and armoured vehicles. This attack came as a complete surprise to the Allies and almost succeeded. Men of Easy Company of the 506 Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne Division were called into action and dug in at Bois Jack and were to be known as the Battered Bastards of Bastogne as depicted in Band of Brothers. Just here at the Bastogne War Memorial which is absolutely stunning uh, if you've never been to the Bastogne War Memorial, it's a definite must. There's also lots of stuff from this Foi just up the road, where there's still some trenches from the Second World War with the, uh, during the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, uh, there's La Roche, just about 20 minutes up the road from here, and that's basically uh, the 51st Highland Division uh, fought there, uh, Battle of the Bulge as well. It's the only memorial in the area that's dedicated to the British troops that fought here. But what I'm at, look at this backdrop. A fantastic memorial to the 101st Division who, who served here. It's absolutely stunning. It was now time to leave the Bastogne Museum and take the short drive to Bois Jacques, which is where the men of Easy Company had dug in, overlooking the small village of Foix. Just before entering the wood, we stopped at a small memorial to the men of the 506 who had fought bravely during the Battle of the Bulge in temperatures as low as minus 25 with no winter clothing and no way of replenishment of ammunition, food or medical supplies.
You can still see the remnants of the fox holes they lived in through this period and the proximity to Foix, which was held by German forces. Mortar and artillery pounded the area from Foix, having a devastating effect, with airburst shells which sent shards of shrapnel from the trees onto the men of the 506, causing devastating injuries. So we're now just outside by Stoin uh, because we had some problems with the vehicles again today which were sorted pretty rapidly. So here we are, you can see fire on, chickens on cooking and look at the space we've got here now. I'm not using the cooker tonight because we've got a little fire going. <laughs> so it's like a cinema watching us. Like, like that. It's not a very good cinema because it's not very packed tonight. <laughs> so there you go, that's us tonight. All kit squared away. And then you return the bottles, you get oh. all 50 back or something. Well, that's what well, that's in Germany years ago. <laughs> Jesus, that's stupid. Yeah, that's very technically, easy. technically, she's closed, but if we come round to the bar, she'll sort us out if you don't get it closed. We've got a bar on here as well, Eddie. Pardon? The bar. The, no, from the little shop. Yeah. But it's closed, it's closed at six, but if we want to get a crate, yeah. we can pop into the bar. Yeah. In the next one, a half hour, hour or so. But, yeah, that is well, the, bar, the bar's yeah. open if you want to use it, because I asked earlier. Well, I just thought if we sat outside, yeah, yeah, it might be easier to get in a crate. The soldiers can do Zulu warriors yeah, and all that. Yeah, but if they've been done done so far, you know, it's not like Yeah. Oh, there goes the fire. <laughs> Caught. <laughs> <laughs> 